In this presentation, we'll cover a procedure for getting a custom technology set from one library within the workspace to another new library, either in the same workspace or in a different workspace. So first we'll talk about what is a custom technology. And we'll talk about configuring how, uh, configuring the workspace so that this technology is exportable to um, other libraries. We've got two scenarios here. Our first scenario is importing that technology into a brand new library in the same workspace as the original. Probably a less likely scenario, but you need to know about it as well. Uh, and then scenario number two is more likely to be what you're going to do, which is uh, importing this technology into a completely new library in a completely new workspace. Let's start with what is a custom uh, technology? I'm really focused on the layout. It would be the layout units, the layout precision, the layer set, the layer bindings, the layer display order, and any constraints that go along with that technology. We've got a workspace here with a custom technology, so we'll go look at that. Options technology, technology setup, and you can see the layout units, layout precision. We'll go look at the layers. See that there are a custom set of layers these layers belong to the library in this workspace. These layers belong to a design kit. We would need to go through this process. Your new workspace, new library, you can just reference that same design kit. So this is for a custom set of layers that are within a workspace. If you scroll down a bit further, you can also see the, the built-in uh, reserved layers for, for schematic purposes. We don't need to worry about those. So these are layout layers, layout display property, unit and precision. And our goal is to try to get this entire technology set into a new library. Okay. Um, first thing we need to do is make this technology exportable. So within the library itself, and I suggest you use the library view tab if you've got more than one library in your workspace, we right click the library and say that we wish to configure it. Within the configuration setup, there's a technology tab and there's a button here that we check that says this technology can be used by other libraries. Now that this is checked, we'll have to shut down and reopen the workspace to make sure it takes. Um, this technology will be visible and it could be referenced by a new library or it could be copied into a new library. And it warns us that we need to shut down and reload the library, so we'll do that. So that's the step it's done. The library is now exportable to new libraries. And this talks about what happens in the background. Within every library, there's a file called qsoftlib.config which contains information about how that library relates to things outside of the library, uh, other, other libraries or the design kit it lives within. So that interface that we just used is editing this file and it's just added this entry. So the entry tech description equals library name. It will uh, add to that to the unit so that we'll know when we're importing this really what we're getting. So that was step number one. Now, we're gonna talk about what if we wanted to import this technology into a library within the same workspace? A new library and this is simple because it's already available. We're going to do a file new library in this workspace and we're going to tell it that we wish to go ahead and set this technology up immediately because it, that technology is available to us. We say create library and there is our source library units and precision and our choice at this point is just do we wish to copy the technology into the local library or do we want to continue to reference it? And since they're both in the same workspace, it really doesn't matter. We'll copy them in just following the process through. Okay. I look at this library. Go to options, technology, technology setup again. And we choose our newly created library. For the other, other technology tabs, we can see our layers, layer to select properties are now all copied into this new library. So we have success. These libraries are independent of each other. Each one has a complete copy of the technology. So that was the, the easier approach, but the less common one. Scenario number two here, though, is that we're going to copy um, this technology into an entirely new workspace. We'll just do that. The important thing here is this button here. We want this button turned off. And if you don't see this button available, you may have to go into the advanced tab. The button is set up technology immediately after creating the library. It's important that we defer the technology setup 
until later because the library that we wish to extract that technology from is not yet attached to the workspace. We don't check this button when we're in trouble, so, or uncheck this. It's unchecked now, we've created the workspace. We've now created a library within this workspace that has schematic technology, but no layout technology. And before we can import the technology, we need to attach it. So that'll be the next step in the slides here, uh, is that we need to temporarily attach the library from the other workspace. So we'll go to design kits, manage libraries, and use the button add library. It's not a complete design kit, it's just a library. And we're gonna browse back to our destination workspace, sorry, our source workspace, and our source library. And to be safe, we're gonna attach this read-only. We don't want anything from that library other than its technology. Right, now that that library is attached, we can go ahead and add our technology. This shows you the process of doing that. And simply trying to create a new layout within this workspace, within this library, will trigger the technology import mechanism. Because we cannot have a layout without layers for it to depend on. So we've asked to create a new layout. We've triggered the technology uh, dialog, and the technology dialog is now showing us all of the technologies that are available to us, including the technology from our source library. Now, it's quite important at this point that we select the copy technology button here, because otherwise we are committed to keeping these two workstations linked together forever. If we can detach the other workspace, we lose that technology. So it has to be copied locally. We'll do that. And it's done. Layout is now open. We want to see options, technology, layer definitions. You'll see that our local library has the same full custom layer set. They'll have the same layer order, the same use, the same precision. Now the last thing we need to do is make sure that this works independent of the source library. So we'll do this next step too. We're gonna to go back to design kits, manage libraries. We're gonna remove the source library. We don't need it anymore. And if we have a local copy, I can open the layout back up and things will be fine. If I had referenced that technology instead, I would get the error message that you see here. You have to repeat, re, repeat the process. So what gets copied and what doesn't? We're gonna wrap things up here. Uh, the units, the precision, the layout layer set, the layer binding, the layer display order, any constraints get copied. What do not get copied typically would be the schematic preferences, the grid snap say on the schematic, the layout preferences. These things typically reside in the workspace, not in the library. So they don't get, they don't come along for the ride when we copy them. Um, safe way to copy these if you need to, close both workspaces and use um, Windows Explorer, um, use the Linux file system and copy the schematic.pref or the layout.pref into the destination uh, workspace. Right. Finally, if you wanted to copy these slides, where would you get them? They're hosted on our Knowledge Center. Uh, there's the URL for the Knowledge Center. Once you get there, you would need to log in. Any supported customer is allowed to have a login. Um, if you don't already have one, when you push this button, it will give you a form to fill out to request a login. And then in the search field, simply put in the, the search words, copy technology, and this set of slides will come up. And that concludes the presentation. Thank you.